opportunity a politician gets, he uses it to the maximum. And Kenyan politicians are no exception. So when the CRA formula in the Senate presented an opportunity, politicians in the Senate and elsewhere grab that opportunity and would want to use it to their maximum gain. And politicians, as we can see in the Senate, elsewhere, are also using this. But as this continues, what does it portend for politics in Kenya in 2022 and after? So the new CRA formula has had many uh, effects and results. In the end, we have seen a group, just like it happens in Kenyan politics, an event produces something, and if it's not get taken care of, it has effects in our politics. Now a group has emerged, which is calling itself Team Kenya. And this Team Kenya is opposed to the formula as presented to the Senate for allocation of money to the counties. The emergence of the group of senators calling themselves Team Kenya, who have vehemently opposed the formula as presented to Senate uh, by the Senate committee responsible for that has many effects in our politics and especially the politics of 2022. This group of senators calling themselves Team Kenya have managed to stall the process of allocation of monies to the counties and not even the ninth time could we have the formula passed. But throughout the revenue formula debate. Team Kenya has comprised of senators from those counties that stand to lose and has been having consistently 25 senators, while those on the government side have been 22. The losing counties are actually 19, if you count, but they have been joined at the least by, le by at least six senators from those counties that are said to be gainers in the formula, but who argue also that devolution is not about losers and winners, but a means of achieving equity. Therefore, Team Kenya, that they mind about the country more than individual counties, and therefore they have said they are Team Kenya, they are taking care of unity of the county, of the country, and within the counties themselves. So the gainers, or the gaining senators, who have rejected the formula, supported by the government, include Bonface Kabaka, who is senator for Machakos, Johnson Sakaja, the senator for Nairobi, Cleophas Malala, the senator for uh, Kakamega, Mithika Linturi, the senator for Meru, Kipchumba Murkomen, who is a senator for Elgeo Marakwet, and Aaron Cheriot, who is basically the senator for Kericho, not to forget uh, Senator uh, Dr. Langat from Bomet. The arrest of three senators from Team Kenya this week reduced or was meant actually to reduce the numbers from 25 to 22, so that by the time they vote, it will be easy to win. However, we saw what happened. The government side failed to win uh, even a single vote from those who are in Team Kenya, and that would have made a whole difference, even without those arrests. But these strong arm tactics used on these senators also backfired badly. Obviously, the arrest of Senator Malala of Kakamega, Senator Langat of Bomet, and Senator Legwe of Samburu was a tactical move which was meant to deny Team Kenya numbers in the House on that material day of voting so that the vote then will pass and the CRA formula will technically pass. The initial plan by those supporting the bill in the Senate was quickly deflated when the besieged senators, these three senators who had been arrested, 
wrote to the speaker and withdrew the voting power they had donated to other senators from their counties. That move was aimed at withdrawing the vote. Apparently, the government leaning side had lined up some nominated senators to vote on behalf of these three senators. Now, that will have meant that the government was to carry the day. But that strategy was shot down because those nominations by those particular uh, lead of delegations in the Senate was watered down when the letters were presented to Speaker Kenneth Lusaka, meaning that those who the government had thought will vote on their behalf were denied the opportunity to do so, which meant that the impasse, the confusion continued. But there are several issues we learn from the composition, from the acts of Team Kenya up to this extent, that the government is not able actually to pass the CRA formula. One, at the end of the debate, there will be winners in the public discourse, in the way we manage our affairs publicly. Because those senators in Team Kenya, 25 in number, have stood their ground. Standing their ground shows clearly that in Kenya, if a dedicated team can, of legislators, and even Kenyans, can actually stand their ground, then Kenya can move forward. Number two, they have won, as Team Kenya, a sympathy vote from Kenyans. And this has essentially uplifted their profiles in the minds of Kenyans. From Senator Malala to Senator Langat to Senator Lelegwe, all of them have gotten sympathy uh, uh, because some of them actually were not even known. They were little known. Senator Langat of Bomet was little known. Who knew in terms of the public, the senator for Samburu, Senator Lelegwe? Very little known. But now that has disappeared. We now know them. There were even demonstrations in their counties, in Samburu, in Bomet. Massive demonstrations in uh, Malala's backyard in, in Mumias to show support. And that has uplifted uh, uh, the, 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 the senator's profiles and now their household names. Team Kenya has also managed to portray Uhuru's government as intolerant, especially when you consider the way they were handled, being woken up at 2 a.m., at 3 a.m., by police to be arrested and being driven all the way to their county headquarters in Samburu, in Kakamega, in Bomet. Now, that shoved support, public sympathy and empathy for them, which was not hitherto to there. Somebody like Sen Senator Sakaja has had a lot of beating online because of being on the Team Kenya or on the North side. And so that has now kind of brought his profile up and people are now scrutinizing him. Fourthly, this Team Kenya has also managed to show Kenyans that they are fighting for Kenya. They are concerned about their welfare in the entire country. Actually, people have started now asking themselves about things which are not part of CRA because we are talking about 15%. And people are start, starting to ask themselves if these senators can also talk about the 85%. How is it used? Corruption and other matters. So, Team Kenya has now made people to start public discourse about financial uh, use in the country and how the government uses money. Lastly, they have also created names for themselves. Because there are senators in Kenya's politics who are very docile or were not even known. And, and so 
someone like Kipchumba Murkomen, who was the majority leader, was known to support the government all the time. But now, it is the opposite. He is on the people's side. He is opposing the same government. Actually, he is in Jubilee. And he is opposing the same government. And so, some people are going through rebirth through this, this group. They are being reborn, you know. And finally, I can say, they, they, they have also, as Team Kenya, served to show the weaknesses within the le leadership of Jubilee in the House or in the Senate. Remember, this leadership was just changed the other day. And, 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 and so, they have clearly, Team Kenya has shown how the leadership in the Senate by Jubilee or the government is incompetent, cannot be able to deliver government agenda in the Senate. And, 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 and therefore, they will be need to scrutinize and see how to make it better to be able to push government agenda in the Senate. Until next week, it's bye from here.